Good morning, management. Good morning, staff. Good morning, ladies. We aren't going to sing the national anthem to start. We've got lots to get through. Um, but before we do, I'd just like to welcome our guests and I will be introducing them shortly. Please bow your heads. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most kind. We, the people of KwaZulu Natal, come in prayer to the source of all truth and peace on behalf of our province, our nation, and our world. Make us instruments of your peace. Where there is ignorance and superstition, let there be enlightenment and knowledge. Where there is prejudice and hatred, let there be acceptance and love. Where there is fear and suspicion, let there be confidence and trust. Where there is tyranny and oppression, let there be freedom and justice. Where there is poverty and disease, let there be prosperity and health. Where there is strife and discord, let there be harmony and peace. The world is sustained by three things, justice, truth, and peace. May we by our thoughts and our deeds hasten the time when wrong and violence shall cease, that there may be justice in the land, truth amongst all its peoples, and peace established in all the earth. Amen. Please be seated. Uses, which is 
the better term, are the opposite of bound by their wheelchair. It is not necessarily the case that everybody who uses the wheelchair is unable to walk, and that's a common misconception. Some people are, but they choose to use a wheelchair to assist them with their mobility.
I was telling Jody and Adele and Awami about an experience that I had towards the end of last year. You'll remember that I wasn't well and that I had to have an operation. And it was a much bigger operation than initially anticipated. And eventually, I thought I was going to go stir crazy staying at home. And my sisters persuaded me that I ought to go to the pavilion with them. And they were very concerned about me. And sort of halfway through the time I was there, I really wasn't feeling well at all. So my younger sister went and rushed off and got a wheelchair. And so I experienced in sort of an hour what you are talking about. It was very interesting to be in that situation. And I'm going to be in that situation again on Wednesday. I'm spending the entire day in a wheelchair. And you girls are going to help me get around the school without dropping you. <laughs> which I suspect some of you might want to do. I'm just joking. So, Erica Hendricks, who um, works at SBS Tech, sent an instructional in the video for those girls who choose to assist me. And I'll figure out how you can hand in your names if you're wanting to do that, because there are times during the day when I have to get to the drama studio from my office which means that we have to go downstairs. It's also important for you to see how wheelchair unfriendly this school is. And it's something that we as management have been talking about for a very long time. So some of you would have noticed, for example, that in our new building, the Matrix, there are wheelchair or disabled toilets on the second floor. And you, you would be forgiven if you thought that the people who built the building are idiots. But actually, it is a requirement in terms of building regulations to have wheelchair toilets on every single floor. The idea being that we ought to have a lift that goes up to the second floor. So we are busy looking at areas of the school that we can try to make a little chair friendly. And we are we do have girls who come to the school who have mobility issues. Remember when some of you break your legs or hurt yourselves and you can't get around, where do you end up having to sit? In the foyer. Because we can't get you up and down the stairs and around the school. And so so it's something we as a school need to think about very seriously and resolve. It's not going to be resolved immediately, but we need to get cracking with that. All right, so let's talk about the initiatives. We want to raise as much money as possible for this worthy cause because the money raised by SDS Tax will go to purchasing um, new wheelchairs for those people who are unable to afford them. So it costs about, I'm led to believe, about 2,500 rand a new wheelchair. And we're not talking about anything fancy. Right? And so, as a school, we need to commit ourselves, especially across this week, to trying to raise a, you know, money that can go towards that. So we thought there are a couple of initiatives like me being in a wheelchair, and I will seek donations towards that from you girls and also from businesses around the school area and the community. We're going to try to raise money that way. The other way we will raise money is that on Friday, we will allow you to wear orange ribbons and for that privilege you pay five rand and that money will automatically go towards the donation. Those ribbons will be orange ribbons because I'm led to believe that is the color um, for disability. I know that there is a disability month across November into early December and the colour they use for that is purple which will make Miss Bowman very excited. Um, she'll probably try and pinch all your ribbons but that's okay. Alright and then the other thing we're doing is we're sending a team of basketball players to play wheelchair basketball on Friday 
with some other schools. I believe Redham is going, I know um, Wesley Boys High is going, and so they will be participating in a sort of wheelchair sports challenge at the SBS Tanks um, headquarters. If you can think of any other way that we can raise money for this very worthy cause, you need to let us know. And we will try to put that into practice. Because, as I said, whatever we can raise, um, we need to try to do so. All right. Thank you very much. I'm going to now see my guests out. But we are going to have um, on the great eights do their cheer that they did for the D&D. &D. So,